I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, invisible, with liberty and justice for all. I promise to do my best to treat everyone fairly. I promise to do my best to be kind to everyone, even though they're not like me. If I see Someone being hurt or bullied, I will tell the teacher. Everyone should be able to feel safe and happy in school. I want our school to be no place for hate. Did you know? Multicultural Night is a celebration that Hoffman Boston hosts year after year. One of the things we have at Multicultural Night is a family fashion show. Hi everybody and welcome to HFB TV's Wellness Wednesday. This month for SEL Month, we are talking about self-care. You may have heard Miss Lerner, Miss Campbell, or maybe even some of your teachers talking about being bucket fillers, filling other people's buckets by being kind and doing nice things for others. But we can't fill anyone else's bucket if our bucket is empty. So who's going to fill our bucket? Self-care is making sure you are taking care of your mind, body, and emotions by checking in on yourself and choosing things that make you feel happy and healthy. This may look different for every person. What's relaxing, a relaxing activity for someone could be stressful for someone else. Like running, something might, someone might like to run because it burns off energy and calms down their mind while others might feel burnt out or tired or even frustrated because of it. But self-care is really about what's choosing what's right for you. Self-care is looking after your mind by quieting your brain from noises and screens and taking a moment to think about something mindful and what's important. It's taking care of your body by making healthy habits and taking care of your physical health. And it's also looking after your emotions by choosing ways to calm down when we're facing emotions like stress, anxiety, anger, frustrations, or any other really strong emotion that we may be having, but being able to cope with those feelings and be more resilient. So how do we take care of ourselves? Life can be really busy and really stressful. So it's important that we pay attention to these things that are going on inside our bodies, that we check in with ourselves by stopping, pausing what we're doing, and asking ourselves some checking questions like, how am I feeling right now? Or what do I need to do right now to feel better? Some examples of self-care that you can do to make your mind, your body, or your emotions feel better are to eat good foods, take care of your body, do a fun activity or sport, develop a healthy routine to follow, choose coping or calming strategies for your emotions, journal, or think about things that you're grateful for, get up and dance, bake some cookies, say some positive affirmations, I can do it, I believe in myself, 
so many people love me, or practice some of those breathing exercises. But remember, every one of us needs to show how much we care for each other and in the process, care for ourselves. Princess Diana. So make sure you're taking care of yourselves, everyone, this self-care month. Looking forward to seeing it. Bye.